I have been working in this field for almost exactly 40 years. I don't know if you can imagine how unusual it was in 1971 for someone to be doing science in support of animal welfare. The two words didn't even fit in the same sentence. Animal welfare and science was surely about abuse of animals by scientists. And so for a scientist to be doing research in support of improving the quality of life of animals was most unusual. Uh, in 2005, fast forwarding, the World Organization for Animal Health, very large international agency with 170 member nations, most of the countries of the world are, are members, unanimously passed 80 pages of science-based animal welfare standards uh, to become global standards of animal welfare for the slaughter of, of animals, transport by land, transport by sea, and the killing of animals in, in disease eradication programs. To see the field go from fringe to the point that you had to explain to people what you were doing, to something that was being adopted by 170 of the, of the world's countries. It's, it's an astonishing increase in attention to uh, the welfare of animals.